The 17-day-long Sochi Winter Olympics came to an end with the closing ceremonies, which took place at 1 a.m. Korea time earlier today. 소치 동계 올림픽이 오늘 새벽 1시에 열린 폐막식을 끝으로 17일간의 대장정을 마무리했습니다. The second round of family reunions began yesterday, reuniting 357 members from South Korea with their North Korean relatives. 어제부터 이산 가족 2차 상봉이 시작되어 남측 이산 가족 357명이 가족을 만났습니다. Korea and the United States will begin the Key Resolve and Full Eagle Joint Military Exercises today. 한미 양국은 오늘부터 연합 군사 훈련인 Key Resolve 및 독수리 훈련을 시작합니다. The finance ministers from the group of 20 and the governors of central banks agreed to maintain clear communication among member states and keep impacts on the global economy in mind while working on monetary policy. 주요 20개국 재무장관과 중앙은행 총재들이 세계 경제에 미치는 영향을 고려해 회원국 간 신중한 조정과 명확한 소통을 통한 통화 정책을 펴기로 23일 합의했습니다. 19 new cardinals, including Korean Andrew Yom Su Jong, were appointed yesterday local time at St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. 염 수정 추기경 등 19명이 현지 시간으로 23일 바티칸 성베드로 성당에서 새로운 추기경으로 서임을 받았습니다. KAIST researchers have announced the development of the K-glass, a pair of computerized glasses that, according to researchers, leaves other similar models in the dust. The K-Glass Augmented Reality, or AR, processor was modeled after how the human brain handles visual information. While some believe the AR enthusiasts are wearing rose-colored glasses, the K-Glass researchers claim that AR will allow us to have richer, deeper, and more powerful reality in our life. One of the most enticing things about traveling is the opportunity to try new foods, and Asian leisure tourists are eating it up, according to a recent survey on what people do when they travel. 43% of the 2,700 travelers from Asia-Pacific nations surveyed said that food and drinks account for half of their travel expenses, while 79% of the travelers seek out food-based cultural experiences, such as food festivals and markets.